In the year 2065, war destroyed our world. In our desperation, we searched the stars for a new home. And just when we thought we'd found one, we realized we were not alone. We have the most important mission. We must not fail. We are the last. And why, I hear you ask? Life. Survival is built into the very genome of every living thing to endure, to evolve at any cost. For billions of years, the planet Earth was home to many beautiful and wonderful creatures, all living in harmony with their environment. It includes, of course, the human race, the so-called masters of their fate, the dominant species who over millions of years of evolution reshaped their environment for their every need. That was until seven years ago, the year 2065. Because unfortunately, that was the year our beautiful planet was destroyed in a nuclear war that lasted just 67 minutes. The bombs dropped so fast that no one had time to say goodbye, to pray, or to call their loved ones. The world's population barely knew a war had started. But in the blink of an eye, our home was gone. The few humans that survived the post-apocalyptic world fled in scout ships to all the known corners of the galaxy, looking for a new planet to call home. I am on one of those scout ships. For all I know, we could be the last. When we received the signal from the Pegasus, we altered our course and headed for what would become our new home. The Pegasus sacrifice meant that humanity could start afresh and build a future. Knowing that we are not the last. All right, I'm removing the last screw now. Make sure you keep a hold of it. Relax, man. These are steady hands. I just don't want to lose any if we can help it. Yeah, there's already enough screws loose around here. Michael, are you disparaging the sanity of certain crew members on board? Or are you making libelous insinuations about the stability of my ship? Your ship? <laughs> Fuck you, man. This ship's sweetheart is mine. <laughs> whoa, 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 flyboy. Anybody can point this crate in a direction and press the button mark go, but it takes a genius, and let's not forget, Mike, I'm a genius, to keep her A, moving, and B, from falling apart, all right? That makes a mind. Sorry to interrupt you ladies, but this crate, as you so elegantly call it, Pete, is mine. Captain, whose ship is it? John's ship. Good girls. Now, how much longer on this work? I'm just installing the new valve now. Copy that. Quick as you can, gentlemen. I want engines started inside of an hour. There's a dust cloud headed this way that'll require more than a valve being fixed if it hits us. Understood, sir. Moving double quick. Where were we? Let me just make sure he's not still listening. Captain? Okay, yes, where were we? This ship, Mike, is mine because I'm the one that keeps it falling apart every time. Somebody called Mike takes us too close to a star or through an asteroid belt or into a black hole or whatever it is you joyriders do when you're fumbling at those controls. Whoa, well, she may not be falling apart, but you sure ain't the one out here fixing her right now. Well, delegation of duties is part of my job, you see. There's no point in risking me going outside to flick the plasma valve when I can talk you through it, Mike. This is a job a seven-year-old could do. Oh, well, next time we'll just send Lila. The suits are too big for her. Besides which, we're supposed to only send expendable members of crew outside? Oh, fuck you and your expendability, man. Without me, we don't fly. Well, that's so weird because I think the captain and the co-pilot are taking the next two pilot shifts. Is that right? Hey, no one flies like I do. All right, I'll make it in our form. Anyway, Mr. Important, I'm ready to put this new valve in and get the fuck back inside so I can kick your ass. Well, now there's incentive for me. Okay, you need to see that the corners are all lined up. Make sure the grooves match too. That way you will know that you don't have it in back to front. Have you got the manual in front of you? I thought you were a genius. Yeah, screw the screws back in and reseal the panel, and then you're done, all right? I'll, and I can run a pressure test on it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait till I'm clear of this section before you run any pressure test. Don't worry. Relax. There's nothing going to blow you off and push you deep into space, as long as you've done a proper job. Warning. Pressure must be released in the helium tanks. Shit. Mike? I just dropped one of the screws. I can go after it. Use one of the spares. You got me any of these left? 
After seven years, mate, don't ask. Okay. All right, sorry again, man. Hey, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> mate, it's your favorite. Oh, yeah? Steak, potato salad, and a side of onion rings? It's my lucky night.